All right, we just finished posting exercise one, and now we get to introduce exercise two. So we just finished unit two, now we're on to unit three. So our first exercise was about compositing in a basic way, playing with pixels, playing with layers. Now we're gonna get introduced to vector shapes. So vector shapes are not pixel based, right? They're more like cutouts of construction paper that you can layer up. So you're still working with layers and you're still gonna be transforming, but instead of them being pixel based, they're gonna be what are called vector shapes. And we're gonna fill those vector shapes with just a single color. So just think of them as cutouts of different colors of paper. Now, what are we gonna do with these cutouts of different colors of paper? We're gonna design our own emoji. So your emoji could be based on a banned book. Your emoji can be your own version of emoji of a favorite cartoon. It can be an illustration of the thing of the theme you did your cartoon jumble on or you can think of your own emoji that you wish existed that you always wanted so mine's going to be a hawaiian cowboy i guess since i was playing with hawaiian shirts and cowboy imagery the only deliverable for this is this project it's going to be due next class right so we're going to be working today and next class to finish it and we can use photoshop or photopea for this which is weird because those are both raster programs, but they both have vector tools in them, which is a way to introduce you to vectors before we get into Illustrator, our vector program, which we'll be doing about halfway through the semester. Some past student examples. We're gonna start by creating an emoji on a simple online tool that's very limited. That's what I was able to create using an emoji maker site that we'll all play with. Then we're going to recreate that and make it better or customize it using the, the shape tools within Photoshop. So this is where I started and then I played with more, more of the options on these vector shapes by adding outlines, adding textures, and that was what I ended up. And I was doing Lord of the Rings and just wanted to do kind of an orc character. Some past student examples. No matter how simple the emoji seems, it's going to be time consuming and very uh, informative to you to try to figure out how to make these shapes with vectors. Because they are limiting in a way that compositing with raster images is not. But the benefit is you can get what looks like really, really clean finished work. Because once you have the vector shape, then you can fill it with a gradient. It just looks like all the computer graphics you see from icons on your phone to you know, a lot of spot illustrations you might find in apps and in, in, in a digital architecture. Remember, there's always the playlist where you can follow along in YouTube. And I'll be demonstrating it this afternoon with freeware, but for this class, I'll do it in Photoshop. So the first thing is to pick your, your theme for your emoji. If you wanna go with the band book theme, maybe you didn't do it last time, you wanna do it this time. Or if you want to keep the same theme you used for the last one, if you did you know, Dexter's Laboratory, maybe you do a Dexter emoji. If you did uh, Demon Slayer, maybe you do a Demon Slayer character as an emoji, that kind of thing. You get to choose. We're going to start with this site. So you click on that link, it will take you to this site. And all you need to do, I mean, you can keep refreshing it and it will give you a new one each time. But to learn how to build it yourself, have your theme in mind, and then you're going to go through each of these categories. So the first is the background shape. And let's see, they've already got kind of a cowboy background. So I'm going to keep that. So they've got that, right? So you can, you can do this random generator and see if it gets you somewhere close. Or you can just clear it and i i like clearing it so if you just hit delete you'll just end up with you know a yellow dot so you start with your background you can do a poop shape you can do a purple devil you can do a skull you can't do more than one this is the only criteria in which you only get one shape right so think of it as a cutout of paper so if i do the cowboy right now i want to move on to the eyes now here you can add multiple. So I can have, let's see, I want Hawaiian shirt cowboy. So I think the eyes need to be kind of open 
and you'll see there's a slider, so there's lots of eye options. It's a lot like creating your character avatar in a video game or something. And you guys can go ahead and get started. Yeah, if you want to, while I'm demoing it. So here are the limitations of this, though. Like, let's say I like those eyes, but you see how they're covering up the cowboy hat. I do not have the ability to move those eyes, right? which kind of sucks. But I can layer up more eyes. And once, once you pick them, there will be dark gray. So you can just click and then deselect. So can I find some lower eyes, like maybe these? But those add eyebrows. Or I can just use the whites of the eye and then maybe layer on others. So you, you can customize it, but I want you to be a little frustrated by its limitations. Because though this will generate an emoji for us, we're going to then learn how to use the vector shapes like this is using with full control. So we'll make it our own. So you just kind of come up with a guiding one here. So I'll do, actually I like those ones that were covering up the cowboy hat. So I'll keep those. And you can have multiples, right? So if I wanted to give it stars as well, you could layer them up, but it gets kind of complicated. Next, mouth features. Let's see, what's particularly Hawaiian? <laughs> it's not a Hawaiian mouth that I know of, yes. But you want it to be relaxed, right? So maybe that, maybe something. I don't know. This could be interesting. I kind of like the mouth high. Because then I can maybe add like a shirt collar for the Hawaiian shirt or something. Or maybe he's sipping a drink. This feels very disrespectful to Hawaii, but... Yep. But making images of themes is always going to be a little problematic, right? you got to lean on cliches to begin with. All right, next I'll move to accessories. And this is where I could add a cowboy hat to whatever background I wanted. So if I wanted to change my background, like to that, then I could go to accessories and add the cowboy hat. <laughs> Doesn't always work. I can add sunglasses, right, because that's very... Very uh, on vacation. Very on vacation. I actually have a friend named Edwin Ishiro who, who's a, a fine artist, works not only from, from Hawaii, from Maui, but from kind of as a, somewhat as an ambassador with all of his artworks, which he shows in, in the continental states. And yeah, they're, they're amazing. He must be very successful. He can live in Hawaii. And well, that's... If you grow up in Hawaii, you have ways of living there, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. But it is, it is a challenging economic prospect to live in Hawaii. If you don't want to hunt and fish, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's very expensive to live in Hawaii. All right, is there anything else I want? Let's see. They don't have a collar, so I'm going to have to add that in. They have steam coming from the nose, which is kind of oh, like yeah. a collar. I like the nose. It's coming from the mouth. Yep. But I can then change the mouth. So this is another important thing I can show you is think of it like cutouts of paper. It's one of the reasons I have you use this one. Even though it's really rudimentary, it's a lot like layering paper up. So if I put the, the steam for the nose down, but then I put a mouth on top of it, Whatever I put on top will, will layer and cover. So even if I end up using the same mouth, which was here, by putting it on top, this reminds me I want a shirt collar, for instance. All right, now what do we do? Because we're just trying to get started. So we make the emoji we want. We figure it out. I want you to practice screen grabbing again. This time it's not for high high quality. It's just... To practice it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to do command shift four and I'm going to grab it. Okay. 
You could also export it and save it, and you're going to download it just as a PNG. And then you can also download it as an SVG, because what we're learning about, even though we're not going to use the SVG yet, what we're learning about is the difference between vectors and raster. So a PNG is a transparent raster format, right? The problem is, because it's web web-based, that PNG is a really low quality. So we need to make our own shapes that are a lot cleaner so they can be printed. Even though emojis are generally very low pixel count because they're actually usually vectors. Now, if I instead open up the SVG, and you don't need to do this. Yeah, I just, I just recommend doing a screenshot. If I open up the SVG in a vector program like Illustrator, because SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, you'll see what the vectors actually are. So here they are. If I look at layers, just like we were playing with in Photoshop, these are vectors. So what is the difference between a vector and a raster? No matter how much I zoom in on these, they are perfectly clean. So these are like the cutouts that we're going to be using. And unlike in Emoji Maker, when we actually learn to use vectors, we can edit them. We can move them. We can transform them. This is what we're going to be playing with. All I need you to do is do a screen grab. Yeah, I'm just, I'm showing you how you can download them and see. But we're not going to use the SVGs yet. We'll be learning about that later. Now, the reason I do a screen grab is because my screen grab is actually going to be a better quality than the PNG that I can download. But only slightly. So either one works. And this might help me for my shirt collar idea. All right. The next step is to start organizing yourself a little bit. So you have your folder. This is my folder for the class. Carl Fry Adobe, right? So I want to make a folder within my folder by right clicking and say new folder and make an exercise one folder. And then I want to move all this stuff into it. All these references. Even the Hawaiian shirt I cut out. And then I want to move in especially the ones I submitted to Canvas, which I'm going to mark with an orange. I have both the black line art JPEG and the colored line art PNG. Mark both of those orange, put them in, and then especially the working format, the thing that I could go back and play with, with multiple layers, which is the PSD document. So the working format versus the, the online format. All those go into exercise one. And I want to use the latest one. So when I come back to this, and I might want to print it for the midterm, or I want to use it for my portfolio, I know where I go to access the highest quality file that I can still work on. Now I'm going to start a folder for exercise two, and the first thing that's going to go into it is my little emoji creation, right? And I can put the screen grab I did, and I can also put the one I downloaded. And I can even put the SVG if you want to download that, though we're not going to use it yet. So I'll throw those in there. It will be all this stuff. So now I've got the stuff I need in exercise two. Once I've got that, and you really only need one of these you know, an image of the emoji you created. And, and that will remind you of the theme you're trying to do. Now, you can use either PhotoP, which is linked in the directions here, or you can use Photoshop. I'll be demoing with PhotoP this afternoon. I'll put those videos up. But let's use Photoshop. And the first thing I do, this is a little different, is instead of saying new, file new, what I'm going to do is open up the emoji, either my screenshot or the PNG, I'm going to right click and say open it with Photoshop. And we're going to use 2023. And then we are going to change its parameters. So first of all, because this is the PNG, 
Notice how it crops right at the edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is grow 